so far we've been talking a lot about wildlife on the park, but I'm here now with Simon McCormack, who is the conservation manager, and he's going to be telling us a bit more about the landscape design aspect of the park. The park at Kedleston is a, a really substantial contrived landscape um, with many, many different layers of design and many different layers of human intervention. What we see in most of the park today when you come to visit Kedleston is the Robert Adam layer, his sort of creation of an Arcadian landscape which is inspired by the landscapes of the continent, particularly Italy, and some of the paintings and other things that people brought back with them from the Grand Tour. There are earlier landscape layers, though, in the park, particularly in the North Park and the area of the Wilderness Walk. You'll see in the stumps of trees, trees that have long been felled, remnants of a much earlier formal landscape where large trees were used in sort of really substantial geometric patterns to create a very different landscape feel um, in the park at that time, at the end of the 17th century and beginning of the 18th century. The buildings that you will see include the fishing pavilion, which is really a little sort of lakeside temple created by Robert Adam, all part of the way that the landscape was uh, a very contrived landscape, but also it was designed for uh, grand entertainment and for um, the occupants of Kedleston and their guests to enjoy themselves, particularly in the summertime. As you walk round the North Park through the Wilderness Walk, there are other buildings you will see which have a very different feel to them. The woodyard, for example, really reflects the sort of history of Kedleston as a working estate. Uh, all the estate workers used to go down there. Um, there was a joiner shop, a creosote pit. It was where a lot of the sort of practical work on the estate took place. And as you walk past it, you'll sense the sort of layers of history that it has and a real patina of age you'll sense as you go by. Then as you walk around the rest of the North Park, there are buildings such as North Lodge, which is again a little temple-inspired building, which was the original entrance. People in the 18th century came through there on a coach, and that's where they sort of came into the park and got a great grand view of the hall. Particularly on the North Park and in the wilderness, it's a landscape in many different layers, and there's lots of different remnants of uh, different uses of the landscape. So the wood pasture in the wilderness reflects a much earlier, older, much more practical landscape usage. Mm -hmm.